Yes, actually, um, vanadium oxide is um, a material that uh, has been used since many years, uh, starting also from lithium-ion batteries. And uh, we also observe that there is a raised interest on the use of this material as a cathode material, for, also for post-lithium batteries. And um, due to the recent progresses, we thought that uh, would be very important for the community to uh, compile this, such a review uh, where we explain the different uh, structures that are existing from vanadium oxide and then also summarize the recent achievements in uh, post lithium batteries. And then we also uh, list some strategies to improve the performance of this material. First of all, um, by thinking about vanadium, so vanadium is abundant, so it's the 20th most abundant element in the earth crust. And another advantage um, is that uh, vanadium has also four different oxidation states, so it's very versatile. Uh, and there's also quite high capacity with respect to other cathode materials. And this, I can say, so are the um, attractive uh, properties for, for this material to be used as a cathode. Potentially, due to the different oxidation state of vanadium, it can also be used as an anode. There are very few works related to the anode, but this is also another uh, possibility. Okay, in this review, we, uh, as I said, we compile the recent progress uh, with respect to um, the use of vanadium pentoxide in uh, post lithium batteries. And my group uh, itself works with um, vanadium pentoxide since uh, several years. Uh, the first author of this uh, review, uh, Chang Fu, so he's a postdoc in my group, he did also his PhD thesis uh, focusing um, on vanadium pentoxide. And we investigated vanadium pentoxide on lithium ion batteries, but then we moved also to post lithium in sodium ion batteries, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, and also calcium ion batteries. We explored uh, organic systems, but also uh, aqueous based systems. And what we um, did is to focus on the fundamental understanding on the mechanism. Uh, governing the intercalation of the dis different ions in vanadium pentoxide by using different techniques, so in situ and ex situ techniques, or so called operando technique, um, in order to uncover the underlying mechanism. Okay, so um, vanadium pentoxide has been used in um, many different types of uh, post lithium batteries including sodium, um, potassium, so the monovalent, but also multivalent, aluminium, calcium, uh, magnesium, and zinc, but also uh, non-metallic uh, systems like proton or ammonium batteries. And um, I can say that uh, the chemistries where uh, I can see uh, better progress uh, are those related to uh, sodium ion batteries, uh, where um, this cathode material reach high capacity, higher than other materials like uh, Prussian white. So with vanadium pentoxide, it's possible to um, reach capacities higher than 200 million per hour per grams. Um, also with potassium ion batteries, we, we observed reports where the capacity is higher than 200 million per hour per gram, but still there are some challenges, of course. Um, because when we are moving from lithium to post lithium, we know that uh, everything is different. And um, uh, for instance, also the sides of the ions are bigger. So we need to intercalate bigger ions uh, that are sodium or potassium that is even bigger than sodium inside the um, interlayer space of vanadium pentoxide. Um, then there are also progresses uh, for what regards zinc uh, batteries, but in this case, we are speaking about aqueous batteries. Um, as you can see also in our review, we report a table with the um, best performance in the different um, uh, systems. 
and the capacity that can be reached in zinc, in zinc ion batteries is uh, about 500 milliampere hour per gram. But there we have the other problem that is the um, voltage of the cell uh, that is limited by the stability of the water. Yes, there are different approaches. Um, so one of them is to uh, tune the morphology of the material, so to go to nano size materials um, in order to, to decrease the diffusion path of the ion. Um, and then, okay, we know that this is a layered type material and a problem where um, when we have to move to a large ion or to very high charge density um, uh, ions, like the case of multivalent ions, we need to enlarge the interlayer spaces of the, uh, of the vanadium uh, oxide. And there are some strategies uh, by to uh, insert, um, so pre-intercalate the, uh, the vanadium oxide with uh, other molecules, like also with water, that can enlarge this space. And then it, we would have a facilitated uh, intercalation of the ions that are either larger or with very high charge density. When you think about multivalent batteries, so like um, magnesium, calcium, and aluminum, so we need to consider we have uh, a small ion with a lot of charge, and this charge will interact with the oxygen of the vanadium oxide. And then we, we need any way to, um, to have more uh, this distant layer in order to facilitate this, uh, this intercalation. And then other strategies are including also doping in order also to improve the conductivity of the materials and other things that need to be considered um, when we speak especially about multivalent batteries like aluminium, uh, calcium or magnesium is the compatibility with the electrolyte. So we have to think about, uh, yes, tuning the structure of the vanadium pentoxide, but we need to find also compatible uh, electrolyte. So the other components of the cell are really relevant. Everything is connected inside a battery cell. And uh, the electrolytes that are now available uh, on aluminum batteries or magnesium batteries are still corrosive. They have problem of corrosivity and also dissolu dissolution. Vanadium pentoxide can be then dissolved. And there are also some controversy uh, on the statement of the um, uh, electrochemical activity of the vanadium pentoxide on aluminum batteries, for example, uh, because of the reaction of the electrolyte with current collector, for example. So people attribute the capacity to the vanadium pentoxide, but um, um, other authors attribute uh, the um, electrochemical activity to other parts of the cell, so to the current collector. <laughs>